Welcome back fellow techies to our latest tutorial video. I am the Technician Project and today's tutorial is in GarageBand. I'm going to talk you through a basic editing and mixing techniques within GarageBand. This is down to importing and fading and exporting out of GarageBand whilst having some background music and cutting out a few blemishes within the tracks. So we're going to start our project, we're going to start a blank project. I'm just going to remove all those extra bits and we're going to insert two audio files from my desktop. Now I'm just going to minimize GarageBand and click and drag my audio files in. So the first one is now appearing. Just give it a bit of time to convert the file. So this is my podcast and I'm going to create a new track by double clicking underneath my audio file and import the second track, which is the background music. Now you can do this during the recording process or you can do this after the recording, which is called post-production. We're going to mute our bottom track, our audio. And we're just going to crop the beginning of this file. Now I want the music to come in just after the drop in the waveform, which you can see in the transient here. And I want to move my timeline cursor in line where I want it to be cut, go to edit and split region at playhead or press command T. And I'm going to create a third track and just drag the excess file to the bottom of the third track. Just as a organizational tool really. And now I've got my music coming in and then my audio, my podcast playing. So I'm just going to minimize the project and make it smaller and go all the way to the end with the other audio file, which I've moved to the bottom, the bit we cut off. I'm just going to drag it to the end of the project. We're going to click our timeline cursor onto the screen and we're going to move it to the end. And now I've got a blemish at the end. I'm just going to cut off as you can see there. And I want to make sure the end of my audio lines up with the beginning of my music. And I'm just going to split this music at the end here. You can be a bit more precise than where you want to split. I'm just going to split it. There. I just want it cut at the end. Right, we're just going to zoom out of our project now. Now in this project, we were recording and a fire alarm went off. And we want to make sure we can cut the fire alarm out. So I'm just going to search through the fire alarm, turn the click track off and the one, two, three, four counter off. And it's just to search for the fire alarm. I should have timestamped it really, but you can somewhat work out with the audio waveforms where the fire alarm is going to come in. Uh, not there. I think it was a little bit beforehand. Not there either. Do it. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that. Just duration. Um, so I'll... Uh, just here. There we go, you can hear the fire alarm quite clearly. And it's jumping in a bit suddenly. So we're going to zoom in to make our edit a bit smoother. As you can hear, that's the fire alarm. We want to remove that. We stopped talking during the podcast so we can do some post-production. So we're going to select a file, put our playhead cursor, command T, um, and we're going to select our file to just before this part of would you, command T, and then remove the middle bit. And we're going to zoom back out again. And now because we've already done the pre-edit of enabling the files in line, fading out and fading in, we're just going to shuffle our two audio tracks up so they stay in line with each other. Shuffle, 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 zoom in, shuffle some more, cut some beginning bits off, shuffle yeah, some more. Would you, I mean the, the, the GMC registration process. There we go. So that's better. 
and now we're just gonna unmute the boss second track and play and we're gonna play some music and then the audio will come in now in my opinion they're too loud the audio is too loud and the podcast is too loud so we need to make a fade so we're going to go to mix and show automation or press a now once you press a you want to create two nodes your first node will be on the right hand side of your track if you're fading in and the left hand side of your track if you're fading out now this will make a cross fade in a sense of if you do a fade in on one track and a fade out of the other track you're cross fading the two tracks in so you don't want them too harsh so hello everyone and there we go so that's better they fade in nicely now i'm just going to shuffle that audio the top audio my podcast along so a little hello bit everyone. Welcome. and that's perfect so that works really well now because we've shuffled that along we're going to have to do the middle edit again we should really glue these together but we're going to make it a bit more complicated for ourselves. put the timeline cursor down and zoom in which is command right to you? zoom in I mean the, 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 yeah. ah, there we go happy with that just going to scroll to the end and do the same fade in and fade out as we did on the track two as you can hear fading in of the bottom track audio three is very loud so we're gonna okay. just do the top one left hand side right hand side do a quick slide down and then we do left hand side right hand side and slide that down so we're doing a fade in on the bottom and we're going to fade out at the end of this audio too just like that there we go so the music comes in nice and loud Perfect. Okay. The transition is great there. For listening. Until next time, take care. So we're just going to zoom out. So we have a whole project on view. We're going to press Command A, which will select everything. Command A, and then we're going to go to Share and Export Songs to Disk. And we're going to select a WAV format and a 16-bit CD quality. I'm just going to name this Podcast Edit. And press Export. Now we're saving that to our desktop so I can show you future reference. Just going to wait for this to finish exporting out. Right, so our track is just finished editing out now. We're just going to move the project to the left and there's our track on our desktop. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. And also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates. Thanks again. Goodbye.